So today we have a full body kettlebell workout for you all. All you need is just one kettlebell for this. So pick that weight wisely as you are going to be doing 20 reps per exercise that I take you through for four sets with a 30 to 45 second recovery between each set that you do. With it being a full body workout, you want to pick a weight that's applicable to every exercise that I'm going to take you through. So let's get you started with that first exercise. So first up, we have a squat thruster with that kettlebell. So all you're going to do is pick up the kettlebell. You're going to pick it up, overhand grip, but you're going to bring it right up to the chest, keeping the elbows tucked in nice and tight. All we're doing from here is ensuring our feet are turned out slightly and our knees are tracking over our toes in the squat. So we descend into the squat. From here, we power up, drive through, lock out the top, making sure the alignment's there, catch again, and don't descend until the kettlebell comes to the chest, making sure knees track over the toes throughout, heels stay grounded, we brace the abs, lift the chest on every rep, making it one continuous smooth movement. You will do 20 reps with good form of control, 30 to 45 seconds rest between the sets, four sets in total before moving on. Exercise number two within the workout is an American swing with that kettlebell. So we're looking for the range on this to come right up to the crown of the head, but with good control, all right? So all you're gonna do, you're gonna pick up that kettlebell as you would in a regular swing. We're gonna take the hips back, pull to the top, and then come back down. Maintain tension in the body throughout, ensuring that we don't go above the crown of the head, and that we keep control on the kettlebell at the top and at the bottom of the swing. So side on, all you're gonna do, sit into the heels and hips, ping it forward, and pull to the top, maintaining tension and control throughout that swing, ensuring the hip hinge plays a part in building momentum in the swing. 20 reps in total, 30 45 seconds rest between the sets that you do with four sets in total. Okay, so next up we have a single leg RDL with a supported stance in the opposing leg. I'm working my left leg, so my right leg is going to support the mover first. So, all we're going to do is we're going to pick up that kettlebell and we are taking our right foot to the back heel of our left leg. From here, I've got a soft knee and I'm hinging at the hip. I'm gonna take the kettlebell down the front of the leg into the RDL movement and then return to standing. Each time I return to standing and I'm ensuring that I'm driving the forward, squeezing the glute and then descending back into the RDL. Once I've done 10 reps on my left leg, I then switch. From here, I've got a bend with the knee on the right leg, hinge at the hip, Left leg is supported, same movement, I'm sitting into the heel and the hip every time I can send the rep into the hard gap. Making sure that I'm looking to move to full range under very good control on each rep that I do. Once I've done 10 on my left, I do 10 on my right. I then take a 30 to 45 second recovery phase, four sets in total on this one. Okay guys, so next up we have a lunge and press combination with that kettlebell. So all you're going to do is clean it to the shoulder. It's sitting nice and stable in that partial wrap position on the outside of the shoulder. My opposite arm is coming out and I'm going to reverse lunge on my right side. I will then press, return to the press and return to standing. I'm going to continue to keep my stance nice and neutral, my press nice and controlled, pressing directly above the midline, returning to the shoulder. I'm going to do 10 on my right. Once I've done 10 on my right, I'm then going to switch my kettlebell to my left side, again taking to that partial wrap position, opposing side, press, return to standing. Stabilise the core, nice strong shoulder, take your time, breathe in throughout, and then once you've done 10 left and right, take a 30 to 45 second recovery, four sets in total on this one. Okay team, so next up we have a windmill with that kettlebell. So this one requires a certain stabilization of the core and the movement through the sagittal plane. So you're just moving from side to side. You're imagining you're between two wet walls of paint on this one. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna grab that kettlebell. What you wanna make sure of is that when you clean it up, it's directly above the crown of your head. From here, my left hand is feeding down the inside of my leg, pushing in towards the arch of my foot. I'm keeping my eye on the kettlebell and I'm returning to standing. So at this point, my eyes are on the kettlebell. I'm gonna descend again, keeping my kettlebell nice and stable. I'm on it all the time. I'm making sure that my hips 
are nice and neutral. Bracing the abs throughout this one is really going to test your obliques, but it's really going to strengthen that core. Once I have done 10 on my right, I will then switch the kettlebell to the other side, clean it directly above the head. I in the kettlebell, I feed it through, I sit into my hips, and then I return to standing. Making sure throughout I'm moving on that central plane, keeping eyes on that kettlebell, not letting it push too far to one side, but keeping it directly above my head. Once I've done 10, I'll pop the kettlebell on the floor, take 30 to 45 seconds recovery, four sets through on this one to complete that exercise. Okay guys, so the very last exercise within this workout is a kettlebell rush and twist. So you're going to be on the ground for this one using that kettlebell. So all we're going to do is we're going to take a seat. Option one is heels down, option two is heels up, okay? You're aiming to create a V between the knee, the hip, and then the torso. All I'm doing for me is I'm taking the kettlebell from the side on, lifting it up and over, and touching the other side. I'm aiming to try and keep my legs as still as I can whilst maintaining that partial crunch position, twisting the obliques to lift the kettlebell across side to side. Option two is heels down and take a little bit lower angle on that crunch. All right? What you want to bear in mind here is to keep everything as still as possible and keep the core activated. 20 reps in total, right left is two, so you'll technically be doing 10 either side. Once you've done that, you take a 30 to 45 second recovery, four sets through, and that is your final exercise. So guys, that is your full body kettlebell workout I've done for the day. Hopefully you've had a great workout and have enjoyed it. And I look forward to training with you again really soon.